This is the plaintiff, Susan Graves. She says she hired the defendant, a photographer, to take photos of her allergy-friendly baked products, and the louse botched the job. The food looked like he let it get spoiled. He didn't listen to her explicit instructions about keeping it frozen until he shot it. And she's here in the name of the law, suing for the $772.91 she is owed. This is the defendant, Pietro Carmadella. He says he's been in the photography business for 30 years, and he doesn't owe the plaintiff a penny because she failed to communicate with him about exactly what she wanted. He's willing to correct any problems she may have. He's here defending his good reputation and feels the judge will agree. He's accused of burning up a baker. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $450, the balance he still owed for his services. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court Next Case. In the dock of the plaintiff hired the defendant to take pictures of her allergy-friendly bakery stuff, but did a lousy job. But the defendant says she was vague about what she wanted, so tough. It's the case of your foods, nothing to sneeze at. Thank you, Douglas. Susie, Susan Graves and Susie Yu? Yui. Susie Yui. Yes. That's cute. LLC, you're suing Pietro Carmadella and Art Photo by Pietro for $772.91 that you feel you are out as a result of him breaching a contract to photograph appropriately your um, items. He is counterclaiming against you $450 for his services. Okay, what's going on? All right, well, I was referred to Pietro by a uh, mutual acquaintance. I was looking to. Is it somebody who had used him? Yes, and it was. And was happy with him? Okay. Yes. So he was hoping that I would move my business to Norwich, and I was looking at doing that, and he said, well, you need better pictures for the website and for a brochure and different advertising. And he said, you must use Pietro. He's fantastic. He's very talented. Okay. So he got the ball rolling, and he introduced us. All right. And, and then you enter into a contract with Pietro to photograph some of your food items for your website and brochures. Yes. All right. And uh, you're supposed to pay him how much in order to do that? $300 plus he could keep all the products. Okay. So now you bring him how, how, how many products? I brought him... Is there a written contract between you two? Are there emails? Lots of emails. Okay. 50. Can I, <laughs> hand me all the emails. Okay. And so did you give him any instructions about how you wanted the stuff photographed? I did. What did you say to him? Well, I told him that half of it was frozen and it needed to stay frozen so it would look fresh when he photographed it. Okay. And he did give me a discounted rate, so I told him that he could squeeze me in between other jobs at, at his leisure. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't set a date to have it completed. Right. But I did ask him to be sure that the food was kept in good condition for the so photographs. So some of the food was on a shelf and some of the food was frozen. Exactly. Did you keep it that way? No, ma'am. When she came, it was very brief, not even five minutes. She stopped at the studio, dropped off everything in boxes. We opened it up. We, she showed me some things. No specific instruction was given, nor... Okay, eight, but some of these things were like cheesecakes, right? Yes, but she okay, didn't say... Okay, what did you do with the big... And it took you how many months to take the pictures? No, just a couple of weeks, but she didn't give me... I a, know, but what do you think is going to happen to a cheesecake in a couple uh, of weeks? It's dairy. I mean... She didn't say this has to be frozen. She didn't say did this has to be... Did you refrigerate it? What'd you do with it? You just put it on a shelf? <clears throat> there were no instructions to say I this... I understand, but you're a grown man, and you know, even if someone's taken care of you your whole life, you do know that some food is perishable, right? That's yes. common knowledge. Yes. All right? And there, so there's an area in the studio that I don't use. It's cold. Uh, it's, it's, it's just it's, chilly there? Yes, I mean, it's, it's not refrigerated, it's, it's not right? This, you didn't refrigerate. It's, it's, it's right. not refrigerated so, because I wasn't asked to be put in a refri okay. refrigerator. I Again, though, you are a grown man yes. who has lived life, yes. and you do know that food can be perishable, right? You're not a child. Yes. All right, now... Do you have any proof that you gave him instructions on how to store the stuff? I did have ice packs on top of the frozen food, and I took the ice packs with me, so... And what? Yep. Don't. And what? You and got I told him, him what? please keep these frozen. Okay. Until you're gonna... so and did he you was take... worried about the lighting. He said the okay. lights get very so hot. So did you take the ice packs and the coolers back with you? 
Yes, I did. Did he ever see the ice packs on the cooler? Yes. No, no. Okay. Actually, Wait a it was second. a box. Wait a second. I apologize. Go ahead. What? It, it wasn't a cooler. It was a box. But a I had box. ice packs all packed around the products. Did he, ever, did he see them? Yes. Okay. Now, you, do you, you say there's 50 emails. Are there any emails about instructions on the food? No. All right. So now um, you get the first proofs, and what do you, you don't like them? What don't you like? Well, the first thing that caught my eye was the food looked spoiled. Okay. You're going to show me the proofs and show me how it looks spoiled. Okay. Because, you know, it might, I might not eat it, but it still may have the same color. So that's the key lime pie. And I brought, I brought these products with me also, if you want to see them live. Like what they're supposed to look like, I guess? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I brought pictures of what I ended okay. up taking. Okay. Now, now, if this has not been frozen or refrigerated, well, in two, three weeks, frozen, I might not want to eat it, right? But what's wrong in the picture? It looks perfectly fresh in the picture. If you look at the key lime pies, the crust is all separated and falling away from the filling. I might have a closer picture. No, I see what you're saying. Um, I wouldn't have seen it if you hadn't told me, though. I mean, I'm not sure. All right, so, so what happens? You... Um, let me see how that, that's supposed to look. Okay. All this stuff is gluten-free? Is that the deal? Gluten-free and nut-free. Gluten and nut-free. Soy and corn-free. Soy free and corn-free. Free of everything but dairy and Is it taste-free <laughs> or does it taste good? You can have those. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. There's a little bit of a difference in how the crust looks. I see what you're saying. And here's my picture and what I ended up using. For the brochure. Okay, but th these hey, are these the only proofs he sent you? Did he send you other proofs? He sent me other ones. I have ones of the brownie. These are the ones that you took yourself? Yes, with my iPhone. May I say something? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Th these were just to get to get acquainted with what is she wants me to do because she wasn't there. She was. We were communicating via email. Okay. And I didn't want to open the packages until she okayed it. Okay, hold on one second. Which ones did you take? Which ones did he take? I took the ones on your left. This is the one you took? Yes. All right. So he took these and you took these. I mean, when, the lighting's better on the chocolate, definitely. Well, the chocolate has gone off on... Oh, these are still in the wrapper. That's why. The lighting's better on the chocolate in the ones that you took out of the wrapper. Yes. All right. Now, she, according to you, she reaches... When you send her this, she says what? I want the background white. Does she say anything else? I don't remember. Okay. But, but Do you have the emails or no? She's, at some point, she said that I, she might have to refresh the supply. And there's a series of, of, of emails between the two of you where you're saying, if you'd like to arrange the wrapped and the unwrapped together for one shot, that's fine. Otherwise, we would have to place two pictures in for each description in the brochure. Which do you think is better? And it's like, okay, you're, there, you're back and forth. And also, could you do an individual group uh, uh, shots? When you're done with the individual shots, could you do a group shot of everything? Um, and one group shot of all the shelf stable items wrapped and unwrapped. Like you're talking, you're communicating. Yes. And um, I guess I should do a group shot first while they are wrapped before unwrapping. Shelf stable? Question mark. Which are those? Question mark. And your answer is shelf stable is anything that doesn't need refrigeration. Not the key lime pie, cheesecake, UIE, or brownie. I thought the group shot should be wrapped. It sounds like, it, it, like the man doesn't know what shelf stable is. Okay, do you want me to bring over new key lime pies now? You're perfectly fine with that. I was looking at the cheesecake again. How about standing up the box? I didn't get to read your last message. I had to go. Now it's December 23rd. It looks like I will have to bring you fresh goods. They don't keep their look when they're thawed or refrozen. Did you freeze or refrigerate the chocolate-covered cookies? Then he says to you, because there's a lot of emails about your concerns about different things. Says, I wasn't aware we had a time concern to photograph the item, so we'll have to get the setup ready, and then maybe you can come by the studio, spend a little time with me while I shoot, so you can tell them what you want. And then you say on December 23rd, I'm wondering if I should find someone who's used to working with food. You say that to Bob. Now, are you used to working with food? She sends that to Bob, your mutual acquaintance. Are you used to working with food? I was just I curious. photographed food before. I photographed restaurants. I photographed hotels. I photographed... Yeah, yeah, but food, actual food. F yes, I did. And then on Christmas Eve, you say, I don't think this is working out. I would like to get my plates and my money. Why couldn't you wait until after Christmas Eve? <laughs> Enjoy the desserts over the holiday. That's why. <laughs> when did she first ask you for her money back? 
uh, that email. She said she never. I never talked to her. She said I want. This I is want my money out. back. This isn't working out. Yeah. Did she, she want, say why? Did she say? She that? didn't. And I, when I spoke to Bob uh, early January, I said I was having issue with her get friend, her client. She was her their client first, and he introduced me to her to help her out because she's a new okay. and up and coming business. So what's the problem? Can I just ask you what is your problem with his service? You know, he took photographs. He was willing to take other photographs. He was giving you a discounted price. You, you said to me, but judge, look, he didn't refrigerate him and that's the problem because look, the crust is separating. Except for that I see an email from you on the 22nd, you have absolutely no problem bringing him a different pie. Right. And so what is the problem? So should the photographer know that you have to refrigerate cheesecake or is it the bakery person's responsibility to say? It's the bakery's person. He, really? He doesn't know what to do in a bakery. He's just a photographer. Is it common sense to know you refrigerate cheesecake? He should know, but I think the baker should still tell him all the instructions. Fair enough, but is it common sense to know you refrigerate cheesecake? I think it is, but it's not his job to be a baker. So the baker should have been there to supervise. All right. Fair enough. Uh, we are going inside the courtroom. He called them preliminary shots just to get advice from me. Yeah. So it wasn't the actual product. Right that I had wanted. And then I asked Bob, our mutual acquaintance, to look at the photos. I said, do you think I should find somebody else? Maybe he hasn't done food before. And his response was, perhaps. I'm sorry I set you up to fail. Right. And so I felt like, well, he he's worked with Pietro. And Why does Pietro have to give you his money back? You uh, Let me explain to you what a contract is. Contract is you agree to do something, and that side agrees to do something that each of you want the other one to do. You agree to pay $300, he agrees to photograph. <clears throat> Unless he doesn't do his job, then I don't see how you get the right to rip up the contract. I'm not gonna help you do that. When you say to me, well, he didn't refrigerate the items, okay? I think it's common sense that there's dairy needs to be refrigerated or frozen or whatever else. But I see numerous emails and I don't see you giving instructions. But I also don't think it matters. That's a red herring here. It doesn't matter. Because I see your emails to him before you decide to switch, uh, and you didn't end up hiring somebody else, you did them yourself. But, but I see your email to him, you say, you know what, I'm gonna bring you fresh pies. It's just not that big a deal. So I just think you changed your mind about whether you wanted him to be the guy who photographs your stuff. And that's fine, you can do that. But sometimes it costs us when we make that choice and not the other guy. What did the guy do wrong? He was ready, willing, and able to take the photographs you wanted. You just never met with him again or gave him an opportunity or brought the fresher pies to be able to do that. My verdict in this case is for the defendant, not oh, in the amount you're counter... No, stop. Else. Not in the amount you're counterclaiming for because you never had a contract for 450. I don't care that that's what you're worth. That's not your contract. Okay. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay. So if I tell her you're stuck with your contract, you also are stuck with your contract. And no, I'm not gonna pretend that the food stuff was barter for part of the $300 because your testimony at the opening of this trial was that it was $300 plus he kept to keep the food. I don't think he's keeping the food. Don't, don't eat it because you didn't refrigerate it and you I, didn't freeze it. I don't want and it's it. gonna, yeah, it's not okay. So, but he is entitled to $300 because you are the one who breached the contract. You, it's your business. If you don't yeah, like it, change me. your mind. But that doesn't mean he, he returns your money. He so my verdict Italy. in this case is for the defendant for the additional 150 Thank that you. he's due. Thank That's you. my verdict, and in your lawsuit against him, zero, because you're the one breaching, not him. He it's very Italy. clear from the emails you handed he me, you just kind of changed your mind about bringing him a fresh pot. And by the way, it's very hard to tell the difference between your pictures and his. Verdict for the defendant. So the defendant prevails in this case. Ms. Graves, the plaintiff, is coming out of the courtroom. You were really trying to say something to the judge right at the end of the case. What did you want to tell her? Oh, I didn't say enough. He went to Italy after that, and he was gone, and he wasn't answering any phone calls. Do you think that would have made any difference in the outcome of the trial? Well, I, don't, I couldn't get a Probably hold of him, not. and he was gone. What about the pictures? Can you use them? No. No? The pictures he took? No. Yeah. I've already had the brochure made. It's off okay. to uh, right. where it needed to be. Well, thank you very much. Sorry. Hi, That's Mom. the way it works. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mom. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Mom. All right. Mr. Carmadella, how do you feel about the outcome of this? It was positive. You all right? It was right. Good. Uh, 
there was definitely miscommunication at the beginning yeah. with, the, with the plaintiff. Thank you very much. My pleasure. You must sign some documents. Thank you. Harvey, what do you think? Uh, Doug, I got to say real quick, um, it is the uh, bakery person's responsibility to tell this guy, even if it's common sense, at a point you do have to manage what you're shooting, and that should have been the baker. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.